See, all the little baby cake, uh, uh, cakey color all around, and the, the main, main plant here is this one here, see? This is the mother, and the mother have all the little baby, the cake is all around it. And I have to tell you, how do we got the word Ohana, right? And how Ohana came into, um, oh, it, it means a whole lot to all the different families. And, um, oh, many, many thousands of years ago, and, or hundreds of years ago, probably, we, we say uh, that um, um, a wonderful story about uh, uh, the Sky Father, the, he was known as Wakea, all right? And, uh, and Wakea, he was kind of rascal. You know, he had, he had many wives, you know, and he didn't have only one, but he had many wives. And he had one particular wife that they stayed together and as a ohana, you know, as a, as a mama and, and, and a daddy, and they, they lived together. And they thought, well, we will begin a family and, you know, we better have an ohana. And, and so they lived together and pretty soon, his wife, her name was Ho'ohokulani. What was her name? Ho'ohokulani. And what was uh, his name? Wakia. Wakia, And so Wakia was the, the father and Ho'ohokulani was the mama. Okay, remember, these two are the makua. They're the parents. And so Ho'ohokulani was hapai. And you know her opu was getting head bigger and bigger and pretty soon it was time for her to have the baby and so but when the baby was born the baby was not fully born so that it had all of the, the hands and the feet you know and the head and the eyes and everything it was just what the Hawaiians call alu alu um, uh, and so they said well we will take this little baby and we will bury him in the back of our halepili. You know, in the old days, they live in the grass hut, halepili. And so they buried him in the back in the, of the halepili. All right. And then a couple of weeks after that, when Mark here went in the back of the house, and lo and behold, he saw this one plant was just growing up. And when the wind blew, it just blew the leaves back and forth, you know. And what a strange looking plant it was, you know. And um, he said, my, just think, remember where we planted our little baby, you know? And there grew this one, one little plant, all right? And so they took care of this plant, and it grew, and it grew, it grew, and it had many little babies making ear just like this, all the little cake is all going all around. This is the story how really Ohana, the word Ohana began, all right? That one little plant that grew up, you know, that grew up where that first little baby was buried was actually what the Hawaiians and the Hawaiian people called as the kalo or as the taro that we know today, all right? And, um, and the taro became so important to all the Hawaiian people, okay? Not because it was their food, because, see, that was the very main food. Like the Japanese have their rice and, and the Portuguese have their what? The bread and jelly or whatever or whatever. And the Hawaiians have their potatoes. But the Hawaiians have their color. And so they, and so they had this as their food, right? And they took care of this, this plant. But actually, Wake and Ho'ohokulani had two children. One did not become a whole, a whole man like the second one. But the important thing is about this story, this one that became a plant, became the taro, became the food to feed the second son. So the second son that was born actually was the uh, progenitor, we say the progenitor, or the, or the first one of all the Hawaiian race, of all the Hawaiian people. He was the first father, all right. 
And in order that he and all the rest of the Hawaiian people must, may survive and may live, they had to feed or they had to be fed on the what? On the color. Oh. And so that's the one reason why the color came first. See? That if, if the, the, uh, the first progenitor or the first Hawaiian father came first, then they would have nothing to feed on. See? That's, that's the concept of uh, this Ohana thing. The Hawaiian people were the most praying kind of people that I ever came across, because I remember my tutu praying forever all morning. And when he prayed, he blessed everything. By the time he got through eating, we fell asleep at the table because, you know, we were so hungry waiting for him to finish praying and bless, thanking the Lord for everything. But see, we did that together as a family. And we went out to work in a tarot patch together as a family.